The internet is full of videos on how to, or better, not how to connect cables to the lux of an Anderson SB175 connector. And here's another one. As the wind in and outside the barn was so intense, I had to overdub the sound. So please excuse if actions in the video and audio are not fully synchronized. Some people solder the cables to the lugs, some use exotic pliers to press the cable onto the lug, and some use a combination thereof. But as I happen to have a crimp tool for the Dean 46235 cable cho shoes, I, I wanted to give it a try with that one. So the lugs um, of the connectors come in different sizes. Anderson calls them silver plated wire contacts. The standard size, or the size you get most often, is for 50 square millimeter cables. And of course, beside the original from Anderson Power Products, there are multiple third party manufacturers that produce compatible casings and lugs. They tend to be cheaper and are often not exactly the same size as the original. And in this video, I use 35 square millimeter cable. This is 2AWG, which is Uh, the stuff I most often use for my DC connections. The Anderson product code for this is uh, 1383 or 1383BK if you go for the slightly cheaper bulk version. So now we are about to crimp um, after I stripped away the insulation. Sort of. Now besides uh, the product code for the 50 square millimeter version is 30 1382 or 1382BK respectively. And this is what Anderson refers to as 1 slash OAWG. And now here comes the crimp. Yeah, most of the time you, you should probably start at the end next to the cable so it doesn't slip out that much. And I always do two crimps and um, yeah, just to be on the safe side. You can get the Lux from Mauser or Digikey. Digikey seems to be a little bit cheaper than Mauser. Or, oh, of course, you can get it somewhere else. And you can see there are slight edges uh, from the crimp. I normally is, use some kind of Knipex pliers to, to cut it away. Or you can just put um, heat shrink insulation over it. It should be also fine. Yeah, It all started uh, last year when I got my tipping trailer from a shop in Inverness. And uh, for the hydraulics to lift the trailer a bit, um, they gave me a power pack that you would normally use to start a car. But instead of the normal clamps to connect to the battery poles, they added Anderson connectors. But the wires were strangely squeezed into the lux and not even heat shrinked. And it looked rather sad, so I thought, how could we do this better? And um, yeah, the, the crimping tool I use is a Hilti NUM5422 six-ton cable crimper and um, which is actually a, a Clauker clone. It's a white washed or white labeled Clauker device. We can also put in um, uh, blades for, for cutting wire, uh, copper wire, steel wire. And yeah, heat shrinking succeeded. And now you can see that um, the cable just, or with the lug, just fits into the casing. You hear a click when it's connected. You can check with a screwdriver or take it out if you want to. Now we, we just put in the second cable, click again. And uh, visually you should see that they're not really, that they should be um, even. And um, yeah, this is actually how you how how you could crimp it or how I crimp it. So yeah, what do you think of that? Side note: When you normally go for the 50 mil versions and try to put in a 35 mil wire and try to crimp it, the whole connector seems to deform, and you cannot really get it into the casing. And um, yeah, this is the reason why I got the 35 mil versions. Of course, there are bushings that you could put into it, but all in all, it, it's uh, sort of cheaper to get just the right size for the cable you are you are using. Yeah, this is a packaging from Mauser, the last order I got from Mauser. But as I said, Digity is a little bit cheaper. So this is it. Um, what do you think of that?